We're very happy for the progress that's being made. The green space is still officially named Columbus Piazza, and the controversial statue's pedestal remains right in the middle, though now surrounded by an iron fence for protection. Oh, yeah! A sign of what happened here back on July 4th, 2020, when the massive marble statue of Christopher Columbus was toppled by protesters and toppled into the inner harbor. Now, more than two years later, the president of the Italian American group that still owns the statue says they made a new one created by a sculptor from Centerville, molded from pieces of the original. It's finished and now we're looking for an appropriate home for it. The replica is being stored in a warehouse on the eastern shore, he says. Doesn't know where it is going, but knows for sure where it's not. It won't go back to uh, this city. The same thing could occur again. We don't want to take that risk. He says for many Italian Americans, this isn't about Columbus at all. It's about celebrating culture and heritage, which is the basis for the new statue planned for this space. We're going to um, uh, have a, a statue of an, an anonymous Italian immigrant. And we're going to, the name is going to get changed from the Columbus Piazza to Piazza Little Italy. Former uh, State Senator John Pica says he's working with City Councilman Zeke Cohen on that and on plans for more pedestals in this park, not just the anonymous Italian immigrant. He says eventually this park will honor all people who ever lived in this place, including members of the Jewish community and Native Americans as well. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL, TV 11 News.